What is going on, YouTube guys? I have a box of pennies here. I'm going to go ahead and open these up, and I've actually already got it started to make it easier. Let's go ahead and pop this open and see if we have any enders. We're going to be hunting this box, so stay tuned. And doesn't look like we have any enders, so let's get started. All right, guys, two rolls in, and I got my first weedy right there. Let's take a peek and see what we've got. Okay, and looks like 1945. It's got a little scratch on it. All right, let's keep going. Guys, very same roll. I did not see this one right away. But there is another Weedy right there. Look at that. We had a 1946 in there as well. Did not see it. And it's a little bit better shape. It's got some junk and nastiness up on the trust. Let's flip it over. Backside looks pretty decent. All right. I'll take it. That's two in one roll. Guys, I just got another find in this exact same roll. I haven't even looked through all the coins yet. Do you see it? I'm going to start zooming in. See if you can spot it. Do you see it? Right there. I found a counter stamp. Which one is this? Let's look and see. It looks like... Is that Indiana? I believe that's Indiana. It's got the boot shape. And that's on a 2002. That's super cool. I can't believe I got a third find in that roll. How cool. All right, guys. I just got another weedy. It is right there. Let's go in and see what we've got. It's a little scratched up there at the bottom, kind of at the four o'clock position. Let's flip it. And we have a 1953, pretty common date. Well, I just found something kind of interesting, guys. I don't know what this is. It's really hard to see. At first I thought it was just a corroded penny. Well, I guess I wasn't wrong, but that is the queen right there. That's Queen Elizabeth right there. So I'm not exactly sure where this is from, but look at the backside. It's got a, uh, like a, what do you call them? The razor pig. You know what I'm talking about. Look at that. What is that? It says one cent, 1996, so it's not old. That's so that's so odd. I've never seen this one before. But it's so hard to see. Interesting find though. All right guys, it's been a few rolls and I finally got something and not only did I get one, look at this. Right there. And look down underneath that, right there there's another one peeking out right there. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Is that one maybe too? Nope. Oh, look at that. We got a Canadian. There was a Canadian hiding in there, 1981. I'll take that. And let's see what else we got. All right, let's 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 go ahead and see what we got here. So there's our first one. Little, little crusty. 1944. All right, common year. And this one which looks really crusty, but it might be old. It looks like it could be old. It's not that old, 1945S, and it's pretty bad shape. Let's keep going. Just got another Canadian right there. This is an older one, guys. Let's see which one it is. I think it's going to be Younghead, 59. That's Younghead. Yep, there. Oh, I flipped it wrong, like always. That's actually in really nice shape, 1959 Younghead. All right, guys, spot the weedy. Do you see it? It's there somewhere. I didn't see it right at first, and I've already seen the date because it's right there. It was a 1950, 1950, and there is the reverse side. So pretty, pretty toasty. Most of the coins that I'm finding are pretty dirty. Uh, these all have definitely come from the same person. There's a lot of dirty coins in these, but let's keep going. I just found my first 2019 Denver. I have not even seen these yet. This is the very first 2019 at all that I've ever found. Just found another weedy, guys. There's the backside of it. This is exactly how I found it. 
I'm gonna flip it over. We'll see what date it is. It is a 1956 Denver. Oh, he's got a booger hanging off his nose right there. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. I've got six rolls left, guys, and I am freaking out right now. I just got something really possibly good. I don't know. I actually had to look this up. Uh, there is an oldie in there. I don't know if you can spot it. Almost 100 years old. Do you see it? It is right there. Do you see it? And it says 1924. I didn't know if this was a rare one or not. I know some of the 20s can be really rare, like the 22 Denver. So I had to go look it up. And guys, if that is a Denver mint mark, this would be like a $40 coin, probably $30, because it looks, it's got some dirtiness right there. But if I move this penny and there's a Denver mint mark, we are sitting pretty. That's so awesome. Let's do it. Ready? One two three no it's a philadelphia no but that's still really awesome guys wow this thing is so smooth but it's almost 100 years old that's pretty awesome holy cow that that gave me a heart attack oh look it looks like a banana on the back that's how smooth it is on the back that one side looks like a banana that's awesome though 1924, I'll take it. All right, guys, let's do a wrap up and I'll show you everything that we got. We're gonna put on the macros lens. All right, let's take a look here. We got a 1953 Denver. These are in no particular order. Most of the coins were pretty rough, 1944, and they all seem like they came from the same person, I would assume, 1945S. Uh, just because all the coins are just really, really dirty, and they all have a very similar dirtiness. 1950 Philadelphia. There's a 46 Philadelphia. Uh, 45. At first, I actually thought this one was a steel penny, just from the crud all over it. And 1956 Denver, with the booger on his face. Uh, and then we go up here. There was an, another Canadian that I didn't show you guys. I did find... Uh, it just was by itself, and I just didn't film it. And we have this one here. And then we're going to go up here to the top here. These are the best finds out of the box. I got this uh, Razorback 1996 one-cent coin, which I thought was really cool. I got this counter-stamped coin of Indiana. It's pretty neat. Got a Young Head, which I love the Young Heads. I love the Georges even more. I also got a 2019 Denver, which that's the first 2019 I ever got so far. And then this was the star of the show, the 1924 Philadelphia. Man, if that had been a Denver, that would have been a very, very low mintage coin and worth a little bit of money. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to give a like, subscribe, share, post your comments down below. We'll see you next time. And as always, happy hunting.